are blessed to have this uh, continuous online teaching. So this is our fourth fourth online series. Third for general attendance. Yeah, third for general attendance for our general membership. So yung if you may recall po, yung una natin it's part po siya ng uh, series of talks for Christian life seminar. Christian life seminar to like Christian personal relationship. CPR. CPR. So first po, uh, we talk about loving one another. Uh, loving one another talks about what, what we do when we give love to one another. It's not us that giving the love. We are conduit of God's love, of Christ's love to other people for them to see and realize that God himself is giving life, giving love through us. So, secondly, we talk about honor and respect. So, with Father Chito. Yeah, with Father Chito. So, it talks about giving honor to the dignity of a person at the same time giving respect as well that he he or she is created in the image and likeness of God. So we are filled with, with wonderful teaching reminding us that God is really should be the center of our lives, that He should be the center of our relationship in our family and in our community. So, Bago po i-introduce ni Dara lang ating speaker, I'd like to remind everybody po, meron po tayong replay sa dalawang talk na ito and even the replay ng talk ni Bro RJ for the servants. So, nandun po yung link sa CFL, uh, MFC Dubai group po natin. Okay. So, without further ado, so ngayon yung speaker natin is Nag nakasama natin siya for last two years ago. Yeah, last two years ago. So, uh, we are blessed and honored na makasama natin muli siya uh, dito sa online teaching natin. Uh, he's a full-time worker para sa community natin. Uh, he's a embodiment of God's miracle kung ano yung pwedeng gawin ng Panginoon sa mga holy warriors niya. He is the representation of God's miracle of how God works in mysterious ways through His body. Being a church and being a temple of the church. So, without further ado mga kapatid, I would like to introduce our speaker for today, si Bro Paul Tropicales. So, okay, good evening po sa lahat. Alam ko pong hapon pa dyan sa inyo. Ayan. Hello? Clear po ba? Yes, yes. po. Highlight ka namin para makita ka. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. 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 Yan. So, unang-una po sa lahat, uh, sobra po ako nagpapasalamat sa inyo for you to give this talk at uh, so kong sabi time again to give a talk. At sobra po akong kinakabahan because ang hirap po agad ng first talk ko at uh, well, uh, after siguro a few minutes, magiging okay na ulit yung pakiramdam ko. Pero sama niyo po ako sa prayers niyo kasi kinakabahan po talaga ako. Before I start, I just want to share to you things about me. So, ako po si Paul Tropicales. I am a missionary. And uh, I joined uh, the community when I was in first year high school through the youth. And uh, way back then, the only purpose why 
time joining the community is because of my parents. They forced me to join the, the youth camp. And uh, because of that, uh, I have no choice because they are also the couple coordinator of that youth ministry. So, <laughs> kailangan ko pong umattend ng youth camp. And uh, after joining that youth camp, uh, naging inactive po ako for two years. And again, na-realize ko na hindi ko pala kaya kapag uh, wala sa community. That's why uh, nag-active ulit ako. And uh, since then, my life would never be the same again. Uh, masasabi ko po kung ganun, it's because uh, simula po noon na nangarap na ako maging isang missionary. And after that, uh, after ko pong makapasa ng board exam sa nursing, I dedicate my life to, to God. And I enter into being a missionary for almost 10 years now. Uh, I joined the uh, I became a missionary way back 2010 at uh, alam ko po na yung 10 years, almost 10 years of being a missionary, masasabi ko na it's a life of a roller coaster ride. Kasi sobra talagang hindi mo alam kung saan ka dadalili. And uh, as I look back, simula ngayon itong mga nakaraang taon, Every time I will commit to something that will entails my life, yung my decision, yung I will enter into something na I, I will experience trouble or hardships or problems in life. <laughs> Nung tinawag ako ni Lord to to become a mission volunteer in our youth youth ministry after a couple of years i was diagnosed with a tawag dito uh, tuberculosis and because of that i need to to rest for a, a month para magpagaling and uh, i am asking god why it is happening because of I was so uh, I was so on fire in to serve him and I will give my life sa kanya because I love him so much then uh, after that when I decided to to become a missionary in a month year to 2010 after a year I experienced being scam. So, na-scam po ako sa isang sindikato. And, uh, bago pa lang akong full-time worker no, a missionary, and I am asking God, again, why it is happening? Because I am willing to give my life to Him. I am willing to surrender my 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 college degree just to serve him and uh nito lamang pong nakaraan when uh, when i entered into married life last october 1 2020 kinasal po kami ng wife ko and uh 2019 2019 rather kinasal po kami ng wife ko then November 14, uh, I experienced stroke. At uh, I ask God again why it's happening because yung I am willing to give my life to Him and to pursue my my vocation to, to build a family because I want to to, to give my family to him also and to serve as a couple or to serve my to serve as a family to serve his kingdom and because of that 
I am so devastated that moment. But uh, because God is so merciful and loving, I was able to to go to the other side of the the road. Why? Because I can say right now that it happens and God allowed that to happen because I know He is teaching me something. Then I realized that God allowed that to happen so that I will be able to become a more mature person, to become uh, the person that He wants me to be. He just wants to purify my soul. He just wants to take away everything that is not of yours, that is not of Him in me. That's why He allowed that to happen. It's a matter of purification. And uh, I am so excited because to discover more of Him after that ex experiences. And uh, hindi naman nagpabaya ang Diyos sa buhay ko at hindi rin ako pinabaya ng Diyos. And there, God, there is a reason why God allowed that to happen and why God gave me another life. And uh, kung wala na akong purpose in life right now, He will surely allow me to to be with Him already. Pero dahil meron pang purpose si Lord sa buhay ko, kaya binuhay niya pa ako, binigyan niya pa ako ng panibagong buhay okay, to serve Him. And that's my purpose right now. To really discover that purpose, purpose that that uh, this will, that this journey will uh, discover more of him. Kaya hindi rin po ako nag-hesitate to accept this talk even though marami pa rin na akong mga mga nararamdaman right now. Uh, recently, uh, I was about to to message Kuya L because I'm experiencing dizziness and headache and uh, it attacks every time <laughs> every time I'm in front of the TV screen or laptop or cell phone that's why today I I really set na maging maayos yung mood ko, I prepared for it. Uh, pagkatapos, pagkagising ko, limited lang yung pagharap ko sa screen. At uh, very limited so that hindi ko ma-experience mga bagay na na na-experience ko na nahihirapan ako. That's why I want you to pray for me, brothers and sisters, na mas maging smooth yung yung topic natin ngayon, sana uh, buksan natin yung puso't isipan natin. It's not because uh, it's me who are talking, but it's God that will uh, ready to, to speak to us tonight, this afternoon. And uh, itong topic na to, it's very uh, pure of ano, yung wisdom. And it's because uh, this topic, it's very sensitive topic also. Okay. And uh, to start off, wait lang, I share ko lang yung screen. Okay, that's my wife. At uh, yung wife ko, uh, very supportive. Nasa likod ko siya ngayon. Ever since na, na kinasal kami, hindi na niya ako uh, pinabayaan at lagi niya akong inaalaga. Dahil una pa lang na, na sabak namin na sa couple, uh, pina-experience na sa amin agad ni Lord yung uh, dramatic scene ng pag-aasawa. Pero that's part of the game. At uh, we know that it is God na 
part of our team. That's why we are very privileged to experience yung mga sacrifices, sufferings in life. And uh, mas mahalaga, uh, kung dati ako lang mag-isa, pero ngayon, uh, I am with my wife and it's very, and I am privileged to be with her, to be with her sa mga moment. And uh, pinagdadasal niya rin ako at this very moment. Okay, our topic for tonight, brothers and sisters, sabi nga kanina ni Kuya El, we'll talk about taming the tongue. And when it comes to uh, taming the tongue, ano ba yung mga bagay na tinetame? Di ba? Ay yung mga bagay na tinetame or mga creatures na tinetame. Tinetame sila it's because they are wild. Tama. And uh, they are wild. Dahil pag sinabing wild, Sometimes they are we don't control it or wala control out of control di ba And uh, when it comes to our tongue ito rin yung isang uh, parte ng ating katawan na wild because uh, ito rin yung bagay na maraming pwedeng maapektuhan kapag ka out of control Okay Sabi nga sa, sa James chapter 3, verses 2 to 10, the power of the tongue, it can affect us negatively or positively. So meron tayong mga epekto kapag nagsasalita tayo. When we use our tongue in speaking negatively, it can induce mistrust, dishonest, dishonor, or disrespect. Kapag ka ginagamit natin siya in a wrong way, we will expect it na ang effect nito is also negative. You don't expect uh, something na ginawa mo ng negative or a wrong intention that it will result to something good or something na kaaya-aya sa pagdinig ng isang tao or very pleasing to the ear of someone. Right. Uh, that's why when we use our tongue, it can either break you or make you. It has also a positive effect. Kaya when we use our tongue in a proper way, it will build trust, it will honor a person, and it will respect someone. Kaya pag sinabi natin na Tang is so powerful, di ba? Yung makakatulong to sa isang tao to build trust, di ba? And eventually, it will also build our character, di ba? Kapag ka yung isang tao ginagamit yung pagsasalita niya in a very wrongful way, uh, it will also uh, tawag dito, reflect kung sinong tao siya. That's why it led me to the next point that tongue is very powerful but if it is used in a wrongdoing tawag dito, it is, it is also like killing someone. It is also like killing someone. Why it's like a two-edged sword, di ba? It is like a two-edged sword. Na kapag kasi nabi mo into uh, towards other people, na masakit na masakit na salita. Yung it has an effect that it's really uh, crippling. Yung masakit talaga sa tenga. Yung lalo na kapag ka you are not that person and someone is accusing you na ikaw tong taong to. Diba? That's why the person na nakarinig nun, na sinabihan mo siya ng pangit, that person will tend to retaliate. Diba? That person is will seek revenge. 
that person expect that person to say a wrongful words towards you also. That's why it's very hard to to use our tongue in a in a wrongful way. Next is because the, the power it's because tongue is powerful. When we use it in, in a wrong in a wrong way, especially in speech, it is also harmful in our community towards one another. Kapag ka tayo bilang sa parte ng community ng MX. I'm sure lahat po tayo dito can attest that our life as a community member, lagi tayong pumupunta dito or umaaten or we are tag dito uh, attracted to to join our MFC community. It's because marami tayong naririnig na maganda. We are really basking in the presence of God through our teaching, households, di ba? Pero when that time comes, that there is something na nangyari, unwanted incident, na nagkaroon tayo ng mga conflict, di ba? Satan will enter into, to, into our lives. At pag pumasok si Satan sa mga sitwasyon na very tempting, like, yun nga, sa mga sa mga tawag dito, relationship na broken relationship natetempt tayo to really be like Satan also. That's why when we are not aware that tongue is so powerful that it can break our relationship here in the NFC, we have the tendency also to to do it, even though we are a leader, even though we are uh, matagal na sa community or bago pa lang sa community, when Satan wants to destroy our relationship with, with one another, he will use that. He will use that opportunity, di ba, to really destroy us. That's why. It is very important as part of the the Christian personal relationship kung bakit nandito tong topic na taming the tongue, di ba? Pwede namang escape or everything is good na lang, feel good ang naririnig natin. But this is also part of our teaching here in NFC. Kaya maganda na napag-uusapan siya. Kahit may effect talaga ta sa Dahil meron talaga siyang effect sa atin. It can be bad, it can be good. Okay? Now, ano ba yung sinasabi ng modern uh, climate about speech? Di ba? It is simply talking about yung epekto ng ano nangyayari ngayon sa mundo when it comes to speech. Marami sa atin ngayon, we are experiencing freedom of speech. Sinasabi natin sa community, we need to control our speech. We need to control our tongue. But the world right now is uh, tempting us and uh, putting no limitations when we when we express ourselves, when we express our freedom. Di ba? Kaya kung nanonotice niyo po, Marami na po ngayon ang usong-uso yung fake news, di ba? Usong-uso yung bashers, usong-uso yung mga vlog. That's the effect of not putting not putting control. Yung nilalagyan ng mundo ngayon na, o oh, sige, bahala ka, sabihin mo kung ano yung gusto mong sabihin. Di ba? And uh, it's very easy to express your your freedom, diba? especially when it comes to speech. Because right now, we have the, the social media that can be a medium to really be who you are, to, to tell the people kung ano yung 
nilalaman ng utak mo kung ano yung gusto kong sabihin ng bibig mo. Just go to Facebook and type anything that you want towards the people, toward that person. Diba? That's why marami tayong naririnig na mga na mga bloggers. I'm not saying that na masama po yung pagbablog. I'm not saying na ganun po siya. Pero what I'm trying to say, brothers and sisters, is dahil yung mundo, tinuturuhan tayo to, to become who we are and to not putting order into our speech. Because dahil nga, sige, bahala ka kung magsalita ka kung ano yung gusto mo. Walang pipigil sa'yo. Di ba? So, they have the good intention. That's why maraming mga tao nagbablog. Meron mga vlogs na nakakatulog. Meron din mga vlogs na hindi naman maganda sa pakinggan. Okay? May mga explicit content or whatever. Meron din naman mga fake news that destroys the truth. Di ba? That's why it's very unpleasing kapag ka yung especially in this moment na talagang we are seeking for truth. Di ba? We are seeking, we are very sensitive to the person na nagsasabi ng tama, totoo, at saka nagsasabi ng, ng mali. Kasi nga, it's because of the effect of pandemic. Especially mga politicians. So dahil ngayon naghahanap tayo ng something na very helpful para ma, ma overcome to pandemic na ito, we are really sensitive to that politicians na kailangan nating marinig na nasasabi ng totoo. That's why nga, kaya ngayon maram, meron na ulit na buo na cyber crime department, di ba? ang ating kapulisan. It's because dahil nga yung mga tao ngayon, tinuturuan ng mundo at ng social media to be uh, to be free. You have to be to express yourself. Kaya ang effect nun, hindi na natin alam kung ano yung nakasulat sa Facebook, kung totoo pa ba o hindi. Or kung ano yung mga news na, na naririnig natin, if it's really true or not, or gawa-gawa na lang. Diba? Isa pa sa tinuturo sa atin ngayon ng mundo is to express what you want. I mean, to be freely who you are. Sinasabi mo ng mundo ngayon, wag mong itago. wag mong itago sa bote. So, don't battle things up. Diba? So, wag mo kimkimin yung nararamdaman mo. So, another opportunity sa isang tao na maging sinos talaga siya. Di ba? Example, kapag kagalit yung tao, tapos kapit bahay nila yung gusto niyang uh, inaaway niya, punta lang siya sa Facebook, tapos magtatatype lang siya doon na kung ano-ano doon sa kapit bahay namin. Sa kapit bahay niya. So, that's the effect. That's the effect of not putting order into our speech. Yung lagi tayong nakikiuso sa mundo kung anong tinuturo niya sa atin. Kaya ang hirap na yung kontrolin ng mga sarili ng mga tao. Diba? Another one, pagdating sa mga kanta, kung napapansin nyo, yung mga lyrics ng kanta ngayon, very useless yung mga lyrics nila. I mean, may isa kanta na laging nagiriring sa sa utak ko kasi paulit-ulit lang siya na ganun. Hindi ko alam kung narinig niyo na yung ya mia 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 mi. Wala siyang ibang lyrics kundi yun lang. At uh, very useless, why? Kasi tinuturo ng mundo na i-express mo kung ano yung nararamdaman mo, di ba? Ano pa? Usong-uso ngayon yung parinigan sa Facebook, sa social media. Di ba? Nagpaparinigan. Maraming mga hugot lines. Di ba? Maraming mga hugot. 
because the world right now is teaching us to really express your feelings, di ba? Kaya ang bilis na rin magkaroon ng mga nakakain laban sa Facebook or sa social media. Why? Because the person, the people right now, it's very open, very willing, di ba? Kaya ako bilang isang uh, may asawa na, natatakot ako pagka nagkaanak ako na baka yung anak ko magkaroon na ng, ng boyfriend or girlfriend just a snap of a finger. Yung na-chat lang niya sa Facebook, magkaroon na siya. Di ba? Because the people right now is very into social media. Kasi everything there is free. Everything there is very open. Di ba? Kaya pag tayo andun din, yun yung epekto nun sa atin. Usong-uso na rin yung road rage, di ba? Ay, uh, sa Pilipinas, sobrang tindi ng traffic. Because of the traffic, uh, pagka nagkagit-gitan lang sa ng sasakyan, di lang nagbigayan, road rage. Di ba? And it's because of that feeling, di ba, na you can express what you want. Kaya yun dinidikta sa atin ng mundo ngayon, brothers and sisters. But we are an MFC community. That's why we are here. We really want the, a teaching that will help us to grow in this aspect of our life. Kaya nga, sabi sa Ephesians chapter 4, 29, uh, let no corrupting talk come out of your mouth, but only such as is good for building up, as this is the occasion that it may give grace to those who hear. And friends, God is reminding us through Ephesians that everything na mga salita natin that comes out of our mouth, it is something that will build us up or build the person or build the people that God entrusted to us. But uh, it's a good teaching why we are an evangelistic community. Our, our very name of our community is missionary. We are missionary community. Why? Because we are called to bring the people of God closer to him and why do we need to bring the people of God back to him it's because uh, that's the very purpose of God to be with us in heaven pero friends the struggle is our tongue the use of our tongue the use of our words because marami sa atin as part of our MMC community, we, we fail to use it properly. The last, we fall into sin. Kaya nga sabi dito, no evil talk. Walang maka, makademon yung pagsasalita. No evil talk, di ba? Our Father is God. That's why we need to speak graciously. Yung pagsasalita natin reflects who we are as a son of God. Yung tayo yung mismo. At uh, kaya nga pagka yung isang bata, kapag uh, sinabihan sa, pag yung isang bata, example, uh, uh, an 8-year-old or a 9-year-old, tapos nakita natin siya sa isang uh, skwelahan. Tapos narinig natin siya magsalita. Example, nagsalita siya ng, ng maganda. Di ba? Ang reaction ng isang nakarinig sa kanya, ang grabe, ang galing naman ng batang to. Sino kayang tatay nito? Sino kayang nanay nito? Di ba? May mga ganong tayong bilang Pilipino, ganun tayo eh, di ba? 
kasi kung kasi gusto nating makilala kung kung sino kung sino yung nagturo dun sa batang yun it's the same thing brothers and sisters when we use our tongue na pag sinabi natin as community part of the community when we speak things about goodness about uh, honoring our brothers and sisters it will reflect who we are as a son of god di ba kaya surely god is reminding us regarding these things okay we speak only with grace honor favor and help so walang ibang lalabas sa bibig natin as a son of god di ba only grace honor favor and help Ano bang importansya ng mga uh, having a good speech? Why we are talking about this speech, tongue, use our tongue properly? Uh, anong magandang dulot nito sa atin? Sabi dito, having speech in order is a vital aspect of love. Yung pagsasalita daw natin ng maayos, we we use properly properly our tongue our speech it will help us to love purely when we love purely brothers and sisters there is a certain balance like hindi lang tayo puro gawa but it is also uh, our love can be felt when we express it also in a good way words, di ba? Hindi naman din pwedeng puro ka lang good words, di ba? Di ba? Sabi nga sa salita natin, mga Pilipino, uh, puro ka lang naman salita, kulang ka sa gawa. It's the, the same thing. Kung nabalik ka rin mo, hindi naman din naman pwedeng puro ka, puro ka gawa, di ba? Kulang ka naman sa salita. Di ba? That's why there is a certain balance for us to really love purely. Diba? Our members in MFC will feel love also. Diba? That's why we in MFC uh, mararamdaman mo na mahal ka ng household servant mo or ng mga tao dito sa community natin. When we when our goal is to really put order in expressing our our feelings diba toward that person hindi pwedeng uh, bara-bara lang din tayo when it comes to our speech towards other co-members of our MFC so isa sa maganda ring pag-usapan when it comes to uh Helping us to love purely when it comes to speech is to love that suffers and endures. Why? What I'm trying to say, brothers and sisters, is here in our here in our community. Uh, hindi lang ito puro accepting all the good things na naririnig natin, di ba? Dating yung moment that si Kuya L or si Ati J kailangan nilang mag-correct. Kailangan nilang gawin ito para mag-grow tayo fully di ba? into the person that God wants us to be. As they, they are our leaders, our servants, yung meron silang matinding pananagutan sa Diyos kung hindi nila napapastor ng maayos yung, yung flock that the Lord entrusted to them. That's why they really need to have that love that suffers and endures. Diba? At tayo rin, kung at tayo ay bilang household servants, at kung tayo ay pinatawag ng Diyos na itama yung mga kapatid natin dito sa community na to, we really need to say it in a proper way. Diba? Hindi lang pwede na puro feel good. Diba? Or Uh, tawag dito uh, coffee shop it is not a coffee shop community yung punta ka lang ng coffee shop 
pipiliin mo lang kung ano yung gusto mong bilhin. Here in our community, hindi pwede. Pipiliin mo lang yung leader na papakinggan mo. Hindi mo pwedeng piliin yung mga tao na susundin mo. Because God placed a people or the persons uh, above us simply because to put order in, in everything. Di ba? At sa pag-oo nila sa aspeto na yun at sa responsibilidad na yun, yun nga, pananagutan nila yun sa Panginoon. At kung hindi nila yung nagagawa, uh, yun yung pananagutan nila. That's why we are uh, we are very God is reminding us right now that in order for us to to have a good speech, uh, we need to love purely so that it expresses out. Yeah? It expresses out. Next is, having speech in order is a crucial aspect of righteousness. Yung... Naalala ko nung bata ako, nung lumalaki pa lang ako, dahil nga tatlo kaming magkakapatid na lalaki, Madalas talaga yung gera. At dahil dumadami kaming magkakapatid. Uh, ngayon po, we are six. Dalawa na po yung mag-asawa. Kuya ko, tsaka ako. So, yung isang sumunod sa akin na uh, full-time missionary din po. So, we are all part of the community. Pero nung mga panahon na ano pa lang kami, kids going to youth, Uh, hindi po talaga yung, yung mga foul words. Nagmumurahan kami. Because of our parents, we need to to establish a business para kumita kahit pa paano. Kasi dumadami nga po kami magkakapag. Pero napunta po kami sa masamang environment. So, napunta kami sa Uh, tawag dito kanto po kasi yun eh so pag kanto, pag kami tindahan ka sa kanto meron kang magandang spot, you have a very good spot in uh, business kasi nasa kanto ka eh, daanan ng mga tao pero yung pala din kantong yun, yung magtuturo sa amin na uh, all the negativities the na experience namin nung bata kami so matindi talaga yung murahan at hindi talaga yung sagutan. That's why I can say that having a good speech will help us to live a righteous life. Diba? To live a righteous life. Dahil ganun yung environment namin. Ganun din yung uh, intake namin. Kung ano yung naririnig namin, yun din yung pumapasok sa isip namin, sa puso namin. So what do you expect? Diba? So what do you expect that will come out? dun sa mga bibig namin. It's also a bad thing. It's negativities. That's why when we have a good speech, yung makikita sa'yo kung sinong tao ka. Kung ano yung pinalakihan mo. Diba? That's why I'm so thankful. We are so thankful that when we join the community, unti-unting tinanggal ni Lord yung mga bagay niya. Unti-unting inayos ni Lord. At unti-unting uh, tinain ni Lord yung, yung tang ko. Because kung ako lang, mahihirapan talaga tayo mga kapatid. We really need the power of the Holy Spirit to, to do this one, to master this one. Diba? Pangatlo, having speech in order is a vital aspect of our relationship. Yung it will help us to build long-lasting relationships. At uh, everyone can attest to this one. Uh, marami sa mga closest friends natin right now, especially yung pagka po talaga andyan kayo sa, sa malayang lugar, especially dyan po sa Dubai, sa UAE. <laughs> Nakita ko po talaga yung closeness ng mga tao dyan and I can attest to that na hindi dahil uh, naging magkakaibigan kayo simply because uh, you maintain a long-lasting relationship. 
because you have a good speech. Diba? You build each other up. At uh, may mga pagkakataon na masusubukan yung mga pagkakataon na nasusubukan, if we allow Satan to enter in, surely it will become a devastating one. Yung... Kung tayo po mismo yung gumagawa ng makakagawa ng or makakabuild up ng long-lasting relationship, we are also the one responsible to destroy it. Di ba? Kasi yun po yung binigay sa atin ni Lord na privilege bilang mga tao. Di ba? Kaya the, the, the decision to do it. The, the decision to to accept it. Di ba? Kaya we are Every day, there is a test. Yung test talaga sa atin to every day. Hindi siya one time, big time na, na hindi. Sa araw na to, hanggang mamatay ako, magiging mabait ako. Hindi ako magsasalita ng kung ano-anong masasakit sa kapwa ko. No. Di ba? Having a good speech is a day-to-day decision. It's an everyday decision. Hindi siya a one-time, big-time decision. Because we human beings tend to fall, tend to forget. Di ba? And uh, because of that, kung matalino si Lord, matalino rin ang demonyo. Kung gaano tayo katindi mas lumapit sa Panginoon, uh, gagawa at gagawa ng paraan si 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 Satan to really tempt us. I'm sure marami sa atin dito na aaten na nga lang ng activity or ng household. Sa bahay pa lang nagkakaroon na ng girian. Di ba? Nang hindi pagkakaintindihan. Because we are about to do the work of God. That's why Satan is doing everything to tempt us. At kung iaalaw natin yun, kung yung pride, yung ego natin will enter in, surely, may hirapan din pumasok sa atin yung Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will have a hard time to enter in. Kasi sa bahay pa lang natin, hinahayaan mo na si Satan na i-control pa. Di ba? That's why it's very hard to be part of the community and doing things like this because we are human beings. Kaya kung, kung sino yung makakatulong sa atin in doing this to master our, our speech, walang iba kundi si Lord. Diba? Walang iba kundi si Lord. That's why it's very important to ask help from God grace from God so that our speech will come out naturally. Yung na-experience nyo na po ba yung maka, maka-encounter ng isang tao na yung makita mo pa lang yung aura niya, yung masasabi mo na mabait talaga tong tao to. Yung hindi mo pa siya, nag, hindi pa siya nagsasalita. Di ba? I'm sure na-experience nyo na yun. Ako, maraming beses kong na-experience yun sa community. Because when you are yung maayos yung speech mo, it will come out naturally. Kahit hindi ka pa nagsasalita. Mararamdaman ng mga tao that you have a good speech. That's why it's very important. Diba? So yun yung mga bagay that will help us. Di ba? Having a good speech will help us to love purely, to live righteously, and to build a long-lasting relationship in our community. But the challenge is always there. Di ba? 
the challenge is always there. Mahirap kung pagkawala na tayo sa community. I mean, pagka wala na tayo sa activity, kapag ka ikaw na lang mag-isa, kapag ka kayo na lang dalawang mag-asawa, kapag ka you are in your workplace, the challenge is always there. Ano-ano ba yung mga challenges na ito? Or the stumbling block that we experience every day? Number one, slander. Di ba? Sa Tagalog, paninirang puri. Di ba? Sabi dito, slander is the utterance of false charges. Mga maling akala. Di ba? Mga patutsada na mali. Di ba? Misrepresentations which define, defame or damage another's reputation. Kapag ka po tayo ng victim of slander or tayo mismo we are slandering a person, naninira tayo ng isang tao, sinisiraan natin siya, we are degrading someone And uh, ang hirap kapag ka yung salita yung nakasakit. Di ba? Lalo na kapag ka yung sakit na yun naging hinanakit. At yung hinanakit na yun ay hindi kaya bast, hindi kayang tanggalin ng sorry. Hindi kayang tanggalin ng patawarin mo na ako. Diba? Kasi masakit. At naging hinanakit. That's why people tend to retaliate when we experience landering. It is bad for our life in our MFC community. We experience a lot of things like this. Na tayo mismo nagkakaroon ng mga bagay na ganito, tayo mismo naging slander, tayo mismo biktima rin nito. At alam natin kung gaano kasakit ito. Uh, isa sa mga experience ko na ganito is yung nagkaroon ako ng uh, naging Opo, nagkaroon po ang opportunity to go mission in Mindanao. At isang being bilang isang full-time worker, uh, meron kang uh, responsibility to to coordinate things like mission. Pagpupunta ka sa isang town to other town, kailangan mong makipag-coordinate. So, I was tasked to coordinate dun sa isang Uh, leader natin doon sa sa Mindanao. So, nag-coordinate ako because of the upcoming mission. And after coordinating a lot of things, so, nasabi ko, magbubuk na po kasi magmamahal na. Magbubuk na po ng mga ticket kasi magmamahal na yung mga PFA. So, And sinabi niya, okay, sige, maganda yan para mas makatipid. Pero nung nakapag-book na and I was about to coordinate again when it comes to transportation from uh, airport to the, to the host uh, family, bigla akong sinabihan na uh, sabi niya sa akin, O bakit mo agad pinabuk? Eh wala pa naman akong sinasabi na ganyan. Hanggang sa naging personal na yung pag, pagtama niya sa akin. I mean yung mga sinasabi niya towards me. So nadamay na yung kami, mga full-time worker. So that very moment, para akong yung feeling na, teka lang. Medyo personal na yung mga sinasabi sa akin ng, ng tito na doon. That's why 
after that nagano nagconfess at uh, hindi ko siya pinatulan right there and then kaya parang ako okay parang na, na slander ako that very that very moment ah. I mean gusto ko lang naman maki, ma-coordinate ng maayos yung mission pero bakit ganoon di ba na damay pati yung personal na ako bilang isang tao that's why it's so hard kaya mga kapatid when we say things that very falsely when it comes to slander. Masakit talaga sa isang tao yun. That's why there is no room for slander in our community, in our relationship. Di ba? Kasi it really destroys our relationship. Di ba? Paano ba natin ma-handle yung slander? Pagka na-experience natin siya. Number one, we need to speak to the person directly. Di ba? Doon sa taong involved, kausapin natin siya directly. Kaya yung pagkakataon na yun, after kong mag-confess, pinahinga ko muna, kinabukasan, tinawagan ko yung tito na yun. Kinawagan ko siya, kinausap ko siya ng maayos. Di ba? Kasi that's the way to go. Kaya nga yung sinasabi ko mga kapatid na kailangan natin to uh, piliin i-head on natin. I mean, hindi pwedeng, hindi pwedeng isang tabi lang because ang naapektuhan is our life in the community. ba diba? Kung hindi natin to iaayos, mas lalalim, magiging hina natin. Masakit. Diba? So that's why we need to speak to the person directly. Next, Talk to the, the household servant. Diba? Hindi para pag-chismisan. Halimbawa, yung involved na taong yun, yung involved na taong yun, kailangan malaman yun ng household servant niya na merong ganong incident. Hindi para pag-chismisan uh, because yung household servant niya is responsible to 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 that person also kasi nga as a, as a household servant ikaw yung nag tumutulong sa tao yun para maggrow sa community para maggrow kay Lord di ba kung hindi niya natutulungan yung tao yun to grow eh hindi na rin sa dapat nagpa hindi na rin dapat sa pumasok sa community it's the, also the other way around kung yung the person concerns Ayaw niya ring magpaalaga doon sa household servant na yun. To correct him diba? or her, di ba? Mahirap. Mahirapan kang mag-grow sa community. Why? Kasi ayaw mong magpa, magpa-alaga doon sa taong tinawag ng Diyos para alagaan ka. Di ba? If you believe, brothers and sisters, that this community is a gift para sa iyo, then maniwala ka higit sa lahat sa mga tao tinawag ng Diyos para alagaan ka. Di ba? That's why it's very important. Pangatlo, talk to a mature person na merong experience of handling that experience. I mean that conflict. Kung nahihirapan ka, di ba? Meron tayong hierarchy, di ba? I mean leveling. Kung ikaw mismo, yung sinasabi ko kanina, kung kaya mo siyang ayusin, you speak directly to the person involved. Kung hindi nyo kayang ayusin dalawa, you talk to the household servant of the involved person. Okay? Kung hindi pa rin kayang maayos, di ba? Talk to another higher Uh, level of service. Diba? Ganun pagka tayo sa, mga, sa community natin, mga kapatid. We are doing that hindi para pagchismisan, pagkaisahan, kundi para maayos. Di ba? Para mas maging maayos. Para mas maging matulungan natin yung, yung bawat isa. At kung tayo, 
humihingi tayo ng tulong dun sa sa isa nating ka-brother or a sister regarding that person, it is important not to name names. Diba? Example, uh, na-experience ko itong sinasabi, na-share ko nga sa inyo kanina, tapos si Kuya L may ganun ding experience. Diba? Or kaya si Kuya Randy may ganun experience. So ako, lalapit ako sa kanilang dalawa or isa sa kanila, lalapitan ko. Sabihin ko sa kanila, oh, Kuya, may ganito akong experience. Pwede mo ba akong matulungan? Importante na huwag natin sabihin kung ano man yung pangalan. Kasi dahil nga tayo ay parte ng isang community, lalo na sa sitwasyon nyo po dyan sa Dubai, uh, we have a limited numbers, di ba? Pag sinabi mo sa ganitong pangalan, yung ganitong pangalan dun sa isa, kilala niya agad. Hindi pwedeng hindi niya kilala. Kasi nga, lagi tayo magkakasama dati, every weekend. Ngayon, hindi na tayo magkakasama, di ba? Siguro namimiss nating pag-usapan yung isa't isa. Di ba? Pero, Kidding aside, brothers and sisters, importante our confidentiality. Okay? Kung wala kang, kung hindi mo kayang ayusin pa, kung hindi mo rin kayang kausapin yung household servant mong taong yun, kung wala kang lakas ng loob na humingi ng tulong, better keep quiet. Better keep quiet. Okay? Again, kung wala kang lakas ng loob, kung kausapin yung taong yun na involved. Pangalawa, kung hindi mo rin kayang kausapin yung household servant ng taong yun. Pangatlo, kung wala ka rin lakas ng loob para humingi ng tulong, you better keep quiet. Okay? Kasi pagka hindi po natin alam kung anong pwedeng lumabas sa bibig natin. That's why you better keep quiet kung wala ka pa pong lakas ng loob. Okay? Kaya paulit-ulit ko pong kinikwento sa inyo. It's a very uh, basic step-by-step uh, -step when you experience lander. Okay? Kasi ito po yung madalas na na-experience natin sa community natin. Maraming nagkakasiraan. Maraming sinabi ni ganito. Kinausap ako ni ganito. Or whatever. Ganyan-ganyan. At uh, nakakalungkot po kasi a small fire can, a bush fire can explode into something that is big. Di ba? Kaya it can really destroy our community. Our community life. Di ba? Ano po ba yung mga ex exceptions pagdating sa slander? Okay. Number one, when we reprove people. Okay. Kapag ka po uh, kinokorek natin yung isang tao, uh, mahalaga po na kausapin natin siya properly. Di ba? Kasi nga, hindi, wala po dapat tayong uh, pinapalagpas na mga pagkakataon to construct. Yung constructive criticism. Yung we are correcting a people or correcting a person simply because he is my brother or she is my sister in Christ. That's why it's very important. Pangalawa, when we have a dispute with someone that we cannot resolve, di ba? it's very important to, to bring it to higher ups. Kaya kailangan po natin itong to pag-usapan to with someone na mas alam natin na makakatulong. Kumbaga, magme-mediate. Okay, magme-mediate kung hindi mo, hindi nyo na kaya yung pag-usapan. Pangatlo, when we tell a person's head that we know of or have heard of something wrong about that person. 
Oh, ah, yung ginawa niya na mali. It's something po na kailangan po nating sabihin na itong taong to uh, uh, meron itong tawag dito situation or pagkakataon na nagkaroon siya ng pagkakamali. Uh, kaya kailangan pong ma-warn off yung mga tao natin sa community. Uh, sa community po natin, uh, marami po sa atin ang nagkakaroon ng di ko po alam kung it is a sensitive topic also dyan sa Dubai. Yung pag po nagkakaroon ng utang. Nagkakaroon ng utang. Di ba? At uh, very important to warn of that person. Simply because kailangan niyang sabihin yung pangalan at yung sitwasyon ng taong ito. Para hindi para hindi para siraan or whatever. Para wala na pong mas maging biktima. Di ba? Kasi it is also Satan's opportunity to enter in. Kapag ka nakakaroon po tayo ng mga ganyang pagkakataon. That's why it is a exception. Kailangan siyang pag-usapan. Kailangan sabihan. Next po, when we when a head responsible for someone warns, okay, yan po yung sinasabi ko kanina. When we give witness in some judicial proceedings, or kung meron po tayong mga kapatid, brothers and sisters na nasa isang paglilitis, okay, kailangan po nating magbigay ng testimony, ikwento, or whatever situation na yan. We can speak against someone's competency to the election. Yan, medyo technicalities na po siya, ganyan. In short, uh, ito yung madalas na naririnig natin kapag ka mga election na. Ito yung mga debate. Di ba? Kailangan natin mas pakinggan yung both sides kasi there is someone na tumatakbo for a certain office. So, mas pa, kailangan niya mas magpapatotoo. Okay? So, yun po yung mga pinag-usapan natin when it comes to slander. Pangalawa po is our gossip. Or gossip. Diba? Pag po sa pag-usapan gossip, hindi ko po alam kung meron pong master's degree when it comes to this. Okay? Kasi po, marami na rin pong doctorate ngayon sa estado ng gossip. At uh, marami po yan. Hindi po yan sa uh, paglabas nyo po. Meron na po agad yan. Lalo-lalo na po dito sa Pilipinas. At alam ko, meron din po dyan sa ibang bansa. Chismis. Okay? At uh, pagka po tayo ay nagbibiktima ng gossip, kailangan maging aware po tayo that this is an information. Information shared uh, without constructive purpose or in an inappropriate way. Gossip is useless, silly, and critical speech about other people. Speech that subtracts form the respect and esteem one's listeners have for them. It is the easiest thing to do. Kapag ka po talaga tayo ay nakakarinig ng kung ano-anong mga bagay, we tend to succumb or madali tayong nasisway to this. Di ba? Kasi it's a part of I mean, na pass on tradition na po yung pagkikwento-kwentuhan. We Filipinos likes to small talk, to do small talk. Diba? That's why we at the community, our one-to-ones is also like a small talk. Diba? Kung, kung meron po tayong pag-uusapan uh, to build that person's up, 
very useful po kung tagawin natin itong one-to-ones. Huwag na po natin gawing chismisan. Di ba? That's why it's a good reminder, friends, that it's very important to really be mindful of this one. Why? Share things in household. Importante that we should not listen to gossip. Huwag tayong makinig sa mga bagay na ito. Because ang mapapakinggan mo lang is paulit-ulit, paulit-ulit na nasisiraan yung isang tao, na wala namang katotohanan. Diba? That's why it's very important not to listen sa mga chismis-chismis. Uh, meron po akong simple analogy. Uh, di ba po pagkatapos natin kumain, uh, madalas meron tayong mga tira-tira at tinatawag natin yung ano, miss-miss. Di ba? Yung tira-tira natin sa mga Tagalog, miss-miss or pakain sa aso, di ba? Yung mga chismis natin, mga kapatid, yan ay mga tiraterang kwentuhan, mismis, useless, di ba? Kaya madalas, wala rin pinapatunguhan. Pinagmumulan pa ng away. Pinagmumulan pa ng sakitan. That's why, Uh, words is so powerful. If you are not aware that what you are saying is not true, you better shut up. Diba? Kung wala iba kong bibig, ay kung walang mabuting salita na galabas sa yung bibig during your kwentuhan or may nabanggit na ganito, si ganito, ganyan, ganyan, tas nagatungan, Nagatungan na nagatungan hanggang sa naging tismis, kumalat na or whatever. Mahirap na. Sobra pong mahirap kapag ka na-involve tayo sa ganito yung uh, pagkakataon. Diba? But the Lord is calling us to live in the light with one another. Yung ilaw, light, you can only appreciate light when there is darkness. Di ba? That's why, friends, kapag kayong ilaw, pag sinagsama-sama natin, it will turn into yung ilaw na nagliliwanag. Nagliliwanag. That's why everything we need put into the light. Hindi natin pwedeng tinatago, hindi natin pwedeng pinag-uusapan ng patago. Kung meron ka pong concern sa isang tao, katulad po nang nabanggit ko kanina, you speak directly to that person. Kasi kung hindi mo po pinag-uusapan or kinakausap yung taong involved directly, at ang kinakausap mo lang ay yung kaibigan mo, ang tawag po sa inyo, you are just Uh, recruiting into a bandwagon. Di ba? Para kang para ka pong barker na nagpapasakay na sa isang jeep. Ganun po yung tawag at yung sitwasyon natin kapag ka po tayo ay hindi sumusunod sa sa procedure natin when it comes to gossip. That's why everything we need to put it into the light. Kapag ka po nakikita sa liwanag, nakikita po natin ng maayos. It's the same thing. Pagka po nasasabi natin ng maayos into that person, naririnig po ng maayos. Naririnig po yung totoo. Naririnig po yung damdamin. Naririnig po yung puso. Sometimes, brothers and sisters, we have the tendency not to say it. Why? Dahil napapangunahan tayo ng fear. Napapangunahan po tayo ng takot. Baka kasi ang maging initial reaction ng taong concern maging negative, di ba? 
brothers and sisters, if you truly love that person, you will correct that person in a loving way. Hindi natin siya papabayaan lang because community life is helping one another to grow. Paulit-ulit ko pong sinasabi simply because that's the basic rule. That's the very basic rule. We are helping one another to grow. At kung, ang, at kung yung kasamaan na nakita natin sa kanya ay hindi natin itinatama, kawawa naman po yung taong yun. <laughs> Dahil nasa community siya, pero walang taong concern to correct that person. That's the saddest thing. Okay? When it comes to gossip, kailangan we have the confidentiality. Diba? Confidentiality is important. That's why kailangan pag-usapan directly at hindi pag-usapan ng group. Diba? Ng grupo. Confidentiality, you are responsible to the topic. Yung dapat responsibilidad mo na kapag kinausap mo yung taong yun, na hindi mo to sasabihin sa iba. Especially sa household po natin, sa mga small household natin, kaya po tayo nagsishare ng maraming mga bagay kahit sensitive. It's because we have the trust to one another. We have the trust to one another na yung taong kasama ko sa household ay yung taong concerned din sa akin. Kaya ako kinikwento itong bagay na ito sa kanila. Di ba? Next po, kung yung, yung mga leader natin, we talk things out because concerned po nga tayo sa growth ng bawat isa. Kaya po example, kung si Kuya Randy at si Ate Sasa ay may household at na-notice niya na itong household na to ay, ay medyo nakukulangan siya sa aspeto ng ng tithing, di ba? Ng tithing. So, meron siyang privilege to ask regarding that member niya sa household, regarding dun sa tithes niya. Kung bakit siya ganoon. Again, it is the privilege to talk it simply because we they are the ones placed to us by God so that we can grow. At hindi rin po pwede when it comes to rule of confidentiality na sige na sabihin mo na sa akin hindi ko sasabihin sa iba. Di ba? Madalas po meron tayong ganyan na yung confidentiality na bibreak natin. It's because of that. Sa pagsasabi mo na hindi ko sasabihin sa iba, ikaw pa pala yung nagsasabi at nagkakalat ng ganito. Di ba? Kaya po, importante po yung rule of confidentiality. Kaya nga, importante, brothers and sisters, that there are times then that we need, when we are clearly responsible to speak about what we know. Kung sinasabi ko kanina, may confidentiality, pero darating sa time na kailangan nating i-break yung rule of confidentiality. Again, okay, baka po sabihin nyo, ay sabi ni Brother Paul, pwede naman pala na i-break yung confidentiality. Di ba? Hindi po. Pero ang sinasabi ko po, pwede siyang i-break kapag ka may issues na hindi na-handle properly. Okay? May issues na hindi na-handle properly. Kailangan po that person involved or that person's concern, kailangan itaas po ito into the, to the persons na mas re, tawag dito, may responsible enough regarding that matter para mas maayos na po yung problema. Pangalawa po, kailangan i-break po yung confidentiality kapag ka po nakokonsensya na yung taong involved. Hindi po natin alam 
di ba? Yung pong community life, pwede po talagang dayain. Kung hindi po talaga tayo nagiging open sa isang household natin, or kung hindi po nagkakaroon po ng mga matawag dito, screen or barriers, ang tendency, madadaya po talaga natin kung ano yung na, na, nararamdaman natin o magiging kwento ng buhay natin. Diba? That's why, kung yung isang tao ay nakukonsensya na pwede niya pong sabihin. Okay? Again, hindi po bara-bara. Again, person to person, talk is very important regarding this matter. Okay? Next naman po is busy bodies. Okay? Busy bodies. Ano pong ibig sabihin ng busy body? Is taking on matters taking on matters which are not our responsibility or concern. Actively prying into others' affairs in order to offer unwanted advice. Isa rin po ito sa sakit natin sa community. At madalas po natin ito nagiging problema. Uh, Pagka po tayo ay inooperan to become a household servant, we have the tendency, siguro out of 100%, laging merong 50-50% uh, that you will not accept that. Di ba? Ayoko, hindi pa ako ready. Hindi pa ako ready maging household servant. O hindi pa ako ready na tanggapin na mag-alaga ng, ng, ng tao, di ba? But honestly, meron naman din tayong tendency to do this one. Tanggi tayo ng tanggi na mag-alaga ng tao. Pero in reality, lagi tayong may tendency to taking on matters which are not our responsibility. But I'm trying to say, brothers and sisters, yung mga sitwasyon na nakikialam tayo sa hindi naman natin business or sa in layman's term dito sa Pinas, nakikiepal, di ba? Nakikisaw-saw, di ba? Pero hindi ka naman hinihingaan, hinihingaan ng opinion or whatever. Diba? That's why it's very sacred to become a household servant. It is sacred simply because we are taking care life, taking care of someone's lives. Buhay po yung inaalagaan natin dito. Diba? Kaya nga very... At this, we are very privileged to become a household servant. At the same time, meron din tayong malaking resp responsibility to do it. Kasi sa totoo po, ang hirap po mag-alaga ng member ng ating community. While the main thing about it is you only want that person to grow. You only want that person to be closer to Christ. You only want that person to to feel the love of God. Diba? That's why the same burden, the same hardships, the same struggle na na-experience ng member mo is the same thing that you will carry. Yun din yung dinadala mo. Diba? Kung sa sarili na lang po nating household, hirap na hirap na po tayo mag-alaga. Di ba? Siguro naman po, wala na rin tayong opportunity na makisawsaw pa sa ibang mga household. Di ba? Para pag-usapan yung or mahingan na opinion or ganito, ganyan. <laughs> Because it's really a mess. Madumi po talaga kapag ka tayo ay nai-involve sa busy bodies. 
di ba? It's a good thing na na-remind po tayo when it comes to this aspect. Okay. Sabi po dito, don't pass on another's criticism. Don't evaluate something you were not involved in. Don't reprove people for things you did not witness. Diba? Madalas tayo ay we have the tendency kapag ka po narinig natin yung example uh, uh, meron tayong narinig na ito member natin na ito like sa singles diba? narinig natin na itong member natin na ito ay na-involve sa ganitong uh, pangyayari. Di ba? Tapos dahil narinig lang natin siya, dahil ikaw ay responsible to that, dahil member mo siya, sinabi sa iyo ng member mo siya sa household, di ba? Hindi po pwede na bigla-bigla mo na lang lalapitan tong taong ito na hindi mo naman alam ang totoong kwento. Mas maganda po kung maiwawan to once mo and to ask that person regarding that matter. Diba? So kapag po nangyari yun ng ganun-ganun lang, we are involved in busy bodies. Next, don't inquire into the affairs of others unless you have responsibility for them. Kapag ka naman po sa ganitong aspeto, yung kung nagtatanong-tanong ka simply because you have the intention just to know it, di ba? Dalawa po yung kaso mo, busy bodies na nagchichismis ka pa, di ba? So be beware of that. Kasi if you are one the one responsible, mas okay po yun. Dahil responsibilidad mo na alamin mo kung ano yung nangyayari to that person. Especially, ikaw yung household servant nitong taong ito. You have the you have the privilege to do it. Okay? Because you are the one concerned regarding this matter. <clears throat> okay? Lastly po, negative humor Negative humor is usually a poor attempt at expressing something positive, open intended as a sign of affection or an indirect personal correction. Madalas pong nangyayari ito, lalo na ka po pagka napapasarap ang kwentuhan, we tend to to tell things out yung nawawala tayo sa focus naging, hindi tayo nagiging aware na yung palang pinagkwentuhan na natin ay negative na yun na pala yung masama sa taong ito ang napagkwentuhan natin yung, you have the intention to, to be heard to be recognized yung dahil gusto mong magpatawa Ginagamit mo yung nakakatawang kwento ng isang brother natin or sister natin. So that falls under negative humor. That's why we need to be aware of these brothers and sisters. At uh, sinasabi natin sa community, we are a community na pinagsama-sama ng Panginoon. We have different Uh, situations in life, iba-iba po ang pinanggalingan natin. Hindi po natin kilala dubos yung mga taong kasama natin sa community. That's why we have households to to grow bilang isang magkakapatid dito sa community. If you are truly a brother or a sisters in Christ, dapat 
maging aware po tayo sa bagay na ito. Kung nasasabi po natin na tayo ay magkakapatid kay Kristo. Dahil kung ang magkakapatid kay kung magkakapatid po tayo kay Kristo, hindi mo sisiraan yung kapatid mo. Di ba? Hindi mo hindi mo siya gagamitin bilang material things just to make fun funny comments about something di ba? because it degrades someone di ba? that's why it's very important to be aware of this one some practical tips brothers and sisters do not speak when your emotion is emotionally charged kapag ka po tayo ay very high Uh, importante na maging uh, uh, banayad lang po tayo sa pagsasalita. I mean, kung ikaw po ay nakakaramdam ng galit o hinanakit, it's better for you to cool down. Uh, Magpa-cool down ka po muna. Importante po yun kasi <laughs> kapag po tayo ay nagiging mainitin ng ulo, Satan will use that opportunity or state of our mind to utter things na masasakit. Very hurtful. Kasi dala ng galit, yun po yung madalas na masakit. Next po is be aware of yourself. Remember, you are the son of God and uh, it's a day-to-day -day decision to be Uh, to decide that you will use words properly. That's why be aware that that you need God, that you need the grace of God, the Holy Spirit, regarding this matter. We are a son of God that we have feelings. We have feelings. May mga nararamdaman tayo na masakit, masakit kapag ka napapakinggan natin. Kapag ka po nagiging aware tayo na tayo ay anak ng Diyos, na tayo ay, bin, tayo ay MFC, na tayo ay binago ng Panginoon, if we become aware of these things, friends, yung mas nagsisink in sa atin to calm down, to think otherwise, not to retaliate but to think otherwise, Diba? Kasi importante po ito. Pangatlo po, fill your heart with good things. Fill your heart with good things. At sinasabi ko nga po kanina, uh, it becomes a natural thing when it comes to do it consistently. Yung paggawa natin ng magagandang bagay araw-araw, dahil sa araw-araw natin ginagawa, it comes out naturally. Di ba? Example, yung tao naman, paggising sa umaga, hindi sinasabi, galit ako, galit ako. Di ba? Wala naman pong ganung tao eh. Yung bad trip agad, umagang umaga, yung wala naman ganun. It's the same thing as Kapag ka po tayo ay gumagawa ng mabubuting bagay, yung katulad ng pagngiti natin sa araw-araw, ngingiti tayo with purely, simply because we are created by God uh, na mabuting tao. Diba? Kaya yung paggawa natin ng mabuting bagay is also an opportunity for us to be a good people. Di ba? So, mga kapatid, let's be aware of that things. At uh, it's a good reminder for all of us. Before I end, I just want to uh, leave these three points na lang po. So, what we need to do is to build a speech that strengthens. Yung the way we, we talk, the way we use our speech. Yung it strengthen us nagpapalakas sa atin, nagbibuild sa atin as brothers and sisters in Christ. 
hindi yung pagsasalita natin yun yung sumisira sa bawat isa sa atin. Our speech should increase love and trust and respect for the person spoken about. Dapat po yung pagsasalita natin, it will increase our love and trust sa bawat isa sa atin. At dahil doon, importante po na nare-respeto natin ng bawat isa. Dahil hindi po natin alam kung ano yung pinagdadaanan ng bawat isa sa atin. At uh, especially sa mga panahon po na ngayon, marami pong mga sensitive na tao, it's because of the, the effect of pandemic. Okay, uh, <laughs> that's why yung a simple question na kamusta ka bro, kamusta ka sis, it will help a lot. Mas ma malaki po yung maitutulong mo. That can be a start of building one another in love and trust and respect. Lastly, our speech should increase faith and hope. Lahat po tayo dito, it is a God-given uh, ability to speak. That's why we use our ability to speak to proclaim God's word. Yung sa pagsasalita po natin, it will help other person to, to believe in God more. To strengthen his faith. Di ba? At uh, malaking bagay po yun kapag ka natutulungan natin yung isang tao na mas, naniniwala, mas maniwala at mas magtiwala sa Panginoon. Hindi yung nagkawin sa atin na ay bro, grabe, sobra na akong daming problema. Hindi ko na kaya talaga, ayoko na talaga maniwala. Tapos ginatungan mo, nako, mahirap talaga yan bro, huwag ka nang maniwala kay Lord. Di ba? Hindi po tapot, hindi po dapat tayo ganoon. It becomes, our speech becomes a source of faith and hope sa mga taong nakakasalamuhan natin hindi lang po sa ating community but most especially sa mga taong mas nangailangan ng ng tulong ng Panginoon. Okay, that's why our ability to speak it becomes a sort a support to one another. Uh, before I end, I just want to share yung na-experience ko po nung nagkaroon ako ng stroke. Uh, aminado po ako na malaking bagay po ang naitulong sa akin ng community because of uh, because of the community I was able to to recover uh, step by step. Malaki pong bagay sa akin yung pagdadasal sa akin ng community. Yung uh, words of encouragement, a words of support sa akin nung mga moment na nahihirapan po ako. <laughs> At uh, I can say na sa community natin, there is a tradition to really build each other up. Yung matulungan po natin yung bawat isa. It is a tradition na, na kahit anong mangyari, importante po talaga yung pagtutulungan hindi lang puro hindi po puro sa gawa but importante rin po yung sa salita kaya po masasabi ko na na malaking bagay po yung naitulong sa akin ng community when it comes to to having a good speech isa pa po isa po na sana experience ko during that moment that I was in hospital as I am in the hospital, uh, nagkaroon po ako ng problem when it comes to uh, difficulty in saying things, in identifying things out. Word, uh, at tawag po dito ay word retrieval problem. So, lagi ko pong nalilimutan 
or nag-struggle po ako na banggitin yung tawag sa isang bagay na ito. Yung po yung naapektuhan sa akin na uh, part ng brain ko na na pumutok. Kaya po may therapy ako na example po ito ball pen. Lagi pong pinapakita sa akin yung picture ng ball pen. Para ma-master ko ulit kung ano yung tawag dito sa bagay na ito. Alam ko po sa utak ko na ball pen siya. Pero hindi po masabi ng bibig ko at matransmit ng utak ko na ito ay ball pen. Pagdating naman po sa mga tao, kilala ko po yung tao pero hindi ko po mabanggit kung sino yung kung sino yung tao na yun. Kung ano po yung pangalan niya. So I have a yung bagay po na yun, ang tawag po doon ay word retrieval problem. At isa rin po na na-experience ko, I have this problem in my right eye na nahirapan po siya na mag-lateral movement. Ang tawag po sa kanya medically is lazy eye. So yung lateral movement po ng right eye ko ay Nahihirapan po siyang mag -ganin. So kapag ka po nakaganyan siya, uh, hindi po nare-recognize na ng kanang mata ko kung ilang fingers po yung meron. So unti-unti po siyang bumabalik at nagre-recover. Meron pa rin po akong tendency to na hindi ko po masabi yung gusto kong sabihin. It's because of that problem. <clears throat> At na-realize ko how important speech is. Sobra po akong thankful kay Lord kasi hindi po ako nagkaroon ng problema sa slurred speech. Yung hindi po umurong yung dila ko because of stroke. Yung I was able to speak. Yung agad after kung makalapas ng ICU, even in the ICU, I was able to na makapagkwento. Pero yun nga po yung mga struggle na meron ako. Pero day to day, it becomes a blessing simply because mabait at mapagpala ang Panginoon because God is my healer. Kaya unti-unti po, I am still in a work in progress, still a road to recovery, pero magaling ang Diyos sa mga pagkakataon na, na meron tayo. Katulad ng mga mahihirap na pagkakataon na gano'n. Simply because you can see that the Lord is really working. Hindi lang sa mga masasayang bagay ng buhay mo. Kundi rin sa mga mahihirap at devastating moment of your life. That's why I can say that Brothers and sisters, God gave us the ability to speak properly. It becomes my... Yung naiingit po ako kasi ano po ako eh, parang medyo restricted pa po yung mga, mga task ko na kailangan gawin. That's why ano ako eh, uh, step by step, I am re... Uh, discovering my abilities again, especially this one, giving talks. Kasi nakakamiss pong magbigay ng talk. Kaya I grab this opportunity to to give this talk. Kasi yun po yung sabi sa akin ng therapist ko, you uh, yung bumalik ka ulit sa mga paborito at dati nung ginagawa ko para maka-recover ka agad ng mabilis. And uh, I think this opportunity na binigay niyo po sa akin to, to tell my stories, that's why friends use our stories to glorify our God, not to, to destroy others' lives. Use our speech properly, especially when we are in a community. When you are outside the community, When you are evangelizing people, when you are telling how wonderful and amazing God is, 
sana makita at maramdaman ng mga tao sa pananalita natin yung kagalingan at pagmamahal ng Panginoon sa atin lahat. Kaya nga it's very it's very important friends to to be aware of that especially in the moment na na nawawalan tayo na when we become uh tawag dito na hindi natin nare-recognize yung kagalingan ni Lord. Kapag uh, paulit-ulit na lang yun nangyayari. Kapag uh, puro uh, hirap na lang yung nakikita natin in our community. We remember that God is always there for us. We will use everything na kaya nating gawin just to glorify His name. And we will not use it just to destroy His name. Every ability that God gave us is the opportunity to glorify His name. Our ability to see, our ability to speak, our ability to proclaim God's word, our ability to, to do mission. Every ability will lead us to, to God, to glorify His name. Amen. Thank you, bro. It's uh, really great to be reminded once again about how important our words, our speech can be. The, the effects on it on our brethren, not only on our brethren, but same goes with 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 our loved ones back home, even in our colleagues at work. So, ang laking bagay nung binigay mong talk, kasi it reminds us that we need to be, we need to be mindful of we need to be mindful of everything that we say in our day-to-day -day lives because it really help us to become a better person. It's also help us to become aware of who we are as a person, as a person of God, and also as an individual itself. It shows our character. It shows us how God works in our life through our speech. So, maraming salamat bro for that wonderful uh, talk na kahit pa paano naliwanagan kami about these things. Because as you said a while ago, uh, taming the tongue is one of the sensitive talks that we have in our community. It's not everybody that it's uh, yung madali siyang tanggapin, madali siyang lunot, lunokin, but it's one of the bitter pill the formation teaching natin sa community. And that's why we always invoke God's grace and mercy for us whenever we have this kind of teaching because uh, he allows us to open our eyes, open our hearts for those uh, solid food for us. It's not this talk is not baby food. This talk is not for onion skinned people. This talk is for those person who really want to change themselves in order for them to be a better person, to be a sons and daughters of God, and to glorify God in their works and in their speech. So, yun mga kapatid. Uh, bro, once again, thank you. Uh, thank you, Bo Paul. It is very good to hear your story na firsthand. Yep. You were in our prayers during that time and even until now. So, yan mute ko po lahat. I will ga give the opportunity to say anything to Bro Paul before tayo mag-proceed kung meron po kayong mga questions. We open Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you, 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 Thank you,
Hi, Pio. <laughs> Nasa baba, bro. <laughs> Naglalaro pa sa baba. So we'll open the we'll open the your discussion with questions or clarifications. So mga kapatid, I will open the floor for any clarifications or questions to Bro Paul or your reflection, what you have received, what you have uh, understand or enlightenment during the talk. Naka-mute po tayong lahat. If you have questions, just unmute yourself. Or kung nahihiya po kayo, you can PM me or Daryl sa mga tanong po niyo. Questions or sharing? So anyone? Ah, ito. Meron. Bro Paul, if dati kong member yung may issue, can I still join the conversation? If dati ko pong member yung may issue, pwede pa ba akong makisali? Uh, case to case basis po tayo when it comes to that. Kasi uh, yung member po na example po yung dati nyo pong member baka po meron na rin po kasi siyang uh, new household servant na nagte-take care of that person na dati nyo pong member uh, it's very important to have a courtesy okay at uh, hindi po dahil magpapaalam lang kayo na or whatever but uh, Importante po na maging mindful din tayo dun sa uh, situation na meron po yung member nyo po na yun. Uh, example po, for a longest time, for longest time, di po kayo nagkakaroon ng kamustahan or whatever. Uh, mahirapan po na bigla-bigla na lang po tayo mapasok sa scenario while that person na sinasabi po natin na dati nating member is having a regular household dun sa bago niyang household server. So, uh, case to case basis po kasi di po natin alam na baka naman po yung problema nung dati nating member ay alam naman po nung household servant niya currently is uh, Kaya po lagi kong sinasabi yung household servant na, na nilagay doon sa isang taong yun para alagaan siya. Meron pong purpose si Lord bakit po yun yung taong yun na nilagay para sa kanya. Okay? Kung masasabi naman po natin na, na yung dati nating member ay lagi pong humihingi ng tulong sa inyo because you respect, nire-respeto kayo or whatever, ganyan, humihingi ng advice sa inyo, okay lang naman po yun. Pero wag naman po sa point na mas marami pa po kayong alam kaysa po dun sa bago niyang household member. Nagigets po ba? Apo. Kasi po, ang tendency po noon, magkakaroon po ng tawag dito, uh, pagpili. Baka po kasi, uh, sa example po, yung pong taong yun, yung member po na sinasabi, nakakarinig po siya ng masasakit dun sa current household servant niya. So yung taong po yun, dahil nasasaktan po siya, dahil kinokorek siya, meron po siyang tendency na lumipat sa ibang tao na kung saan makakarinig siya ng comforting words, ng mga salita na kung saan natutulungan siya. So darating po yung comment na baka naman po maging bandwagon na kayo naman po yung dalawa. Ngayon, yung nagkwekwentuhan towards that 
person. Okay? So baka po, yun po yung iniiwasan natin na maging effect ng mga ganun pong mga pagkakataon. So, kaya po importante na kapag po sa mga household natin, we make it a point na naghapa-household po talaga tayo. Kasi kapag hindi po talaga tayo nagpapa-household, yun na po yung sinasabi nung, nung nagtanong po sa atin na paano po kapag yung dati kong member. So kapag po, tinag po natin siya as dati kong member, Ibig sabihin, member mo siya dati na nagko-consult sa iyo. So bakit po siya nagko-consult sa iyo? Malamang siguro walang household, hindi nawa one to ones or hindi na po-push o ng activities. So yun po yung sana po nakatulong. Thank you. Thank you po. So anybody merong pa diyan sis? Waiting for others. Wag pong mahiya. PM lang po. PM is the key. So, bro, sometimes like us servants are di naman, di ba, not all the time we we give our time to service. We have, we have, we have a lot of responsibilities as well in our family, in our works, in our relationship. But sometimes, yung yung lahat ng mga stress na yun, dun siya nag-accumulate wherein you have your service. I mean, nagigess mo na sometimes dun mo siya na ilalabas. I mean, madali ka mapikon, madali ka ma irritable ka in short. So then it will come to a point wherein you have scheduling a household then nobody said yes like ikaw ikaw ngayon nandoon ka na sa point na irritable ka na demoralized ka na nga sa work then it comes to the service ganun pa rin yung natatanggap mo ganun pa rin yung nareresive mo ganun pa rin yung nakikita mo when it comes to taming taming the tongue how will you approach it? I mean, how would be your post posture when it comes to that? Because right now we are in a situation where we are in a pandemic. So lahat ngayon ng isip ng tao is medyo irritable. And mm -hmm. ikaw, servant ka, how will you approach it na ikaw nandun pa rin yung maging mahinahon ka, uh, loving heart ka pa rin, and so on and so on to becoming of what is needed for you to become a servant. How will you attack it, attack it or how will you handle it in spite of those things? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, thank you, Kuya Daryl, for that very hard question. Napapagana mo yung utak ko eh. <laughs> uh, Experience-wise, sa experience ko po, uh, mahirap pong magpanggap. Mahirap pong magpanggap. That's why, babalik po tayo dun sa basic na dapat po yung household nakaset na. Dapat po yung household nakaset na. Hindi po siya yung iseset pa natin. Dapat po nagre-remind na lang tayo. Na example, Sa darating na na week, re-remind ko kayo, brothers and sisters, that ito yung napagkasundahan natin na date ng household natin. Okay. When everything is set, kung saan, saan yung household, kanino yung household, ano yung oras, ano yung topic, ano yung kanta, ano yung page ng kakantayin. Okay. Everything is set. Yung alam mo rin sa sarili mo that you are aware. Diba? Kaya po nasabi ko kanina, importante that you are aware. Kapag yung tao aware na meron sa darating na household ay na sa week na to darating yung household. Diba? Importante na sinasight mo na rin yung sarili mo. Diba? Importante na dapat kung stress ka sa work, huwag kang magpa-stress. Okay? Kung alam mo na na yung work 
na yung household mo, before your household, meron kang uh, meron kang meeting na alam mo medyo madugo yung meeting na yun. Yung isight mo yung sarili mo na relax ka lang, huwag kang maano, ganyan. So, kapag kami yung mga ganun pong pressure na na-experience ako pagkadating sa mga events po natin sa community, lalo na po yung mga sunod-sunod na activity, importante po yun na you are aware. Pangalawa, sinasight mo yung utak mo. Kumbaga, kinukondisyon mo yung sarili mo na huwag kang maging ganun kasi nga pagka iniisip mo tsaka in ano mo, you have the tendency to to ano ito do it eh. Kaya nga yung pangatlo na po na gusto kong sabihin uh, don't get me wrong if you are truly stressed and if you are truly tawag dito uh, hirap na hirap ka talagang i-balance po yung nararamdaman mo at that very moment you can say no you can say no kung ang alam mo sa sarili mo na baka inas na ko pa finger magano ka na lang bigla ka na lang magburst magano na lang bigla yung problema mo yung sa sobrang pressure sumabog ka na lang bigla kung you have the tendency na maging ganun you can say no so you can say no once again brothers and sisters attending community event i mean kapag ka po hindi ka nakaka-attend ng community event it's not a sin hindi naman po siya kalasalanan sa Dios pero kapag po tayo ay umaten ng activity natin sa Panginoon it's our thirst it reflects on our deep deeper love for God our deeper longing for God and our yung uhaw ba natin sa Panginoon yun yung nagre-reflect kaya po tayo umaten ng mga activity pero kung alam mo sa sarili mo na hindi mo mapapakita yung mga bagay na yun at that very moment you can say no kasi baka magmaskos ng problema sa iyo pangalawa baka magkaroon ng problema when it comes to our relationship in the community. Sana po nakatulong yung sagot. Thank you, bro. Salamat. I have another question. Wait lang, basahin ko. What should be our response sa mga bully na brothers and sisters <laughs> in the community to think that they are servants in the community? <laughs> Ang example po ng bully niya, bro, is, ano, kunyari, yung sa mga single, sinasabi sa kanila na, ano, oy, tanda mo na, at single ka pa rin, yung mga ganun. Aray? <laughs> How, what should be our Aray. response? Aray? <laughs> uh, pagdating po sa aspeto na yun, ah, uh, Okay, Tapos servants pala sila bro, ang nang bubuli servants okay. pa. Ayun. Okay po. Okay. Ah, uh, hindi rin po yang iba dito sa Pinas, may ganyan rin po tayo mga experience <laughs> na medyo ah uh, foul naman po talaga. Uh, how to address that? Ang na uh, ginagawa po namin dito at na uh, witness ko kung paano po siya i-address. Ah, uh, Una-una, kailangan po nung person na yon na binubuli na tangga, I mean, aminin niya po na nasasaktan siya kapag may mga ganun pong moment. Okay? Tapos kapag ka po naamin na niya na nasasaktan siya, nahihirapan siya, with all honesty, with all honesty, yung sabihin niya sa sarili niya, aminin niya sa sarili niya na mahirap, Masakit sa kanya kapag ka na, pag may mga ganong pagkakataon na nabubuli siya. So, honesty is very important. Hindi yung ngayon, uh, nasasaktan siya at kinabukasan, okay lang sa kanya na inaasar or whatever, ganyan. So, hindi, hindi dapat ganon. It's something that is consistent. Why? 
Kasi after accepting it, after being honest, kasi sasabihin mo yun, kung hindi mo kaya siyang i-call out sa mga brothers and sisters mo, I mean, kung hindi mo kaya i-call out yung yung taong nang bubuli sa iyo or hindi mo kayang i-correct magpapatulong ka dun sa household server mo na para kapag yung taong yun ay aware na nandyan siya example din bawa we are in a group nagkakwentuhan tapos dumating yung taong yun na medyo may pinagdadaanan, may concern when it comes to that bullying. Kasi yung grupo, magiging aware na sensitive pala si, si sis or si bro pagdating sa ganito. Ay, siguro hindi sensitive yung term. Eh. I mean, meron siyang pinagdadaanan when it comes to that topic. Di ba? Kaya importante na na one-to-ones is important na dapat sinasabi mo sa ate mo o sa kuya mo o sa brother mo sa community. Para kung hindi mo kayang i-call out yung a brother or a sister na pinagkakatiwalaan mo or your household servant na kapag kakwentuhan may mga ganong pagkakataon na nababanggit yun. Wala nang Tutulungan ka na ng household servant mo to call that brother or a sister na, okay bro, uh, next topic tayo or change topic tayo kasi hindi nakakatulong kayo. E yung gets na agad, yung gets na. Hindi na kailangan banggitin na hindi nakakatulong kayo ganito or hindi ganito sa ganito, ganyan. So, by starting like that, magiging aware yung mga tao sa ganito na may ganun tayong restrictions. Again, hindi para hindi para maging ilag tayo sa sa brother or a sister concern para kundi para makatulong tayo sa kanya, di ba? Kaya masakit yung huling part na sinabi niya eh, na na medyo masakit yung sinasabi nung isang brother na servant pa naman, na leader pa naman. So, masakit yun kapag naririnig natin kasi natatag tayo na dahil servant. So, damay lahat ng servant. Hindi yung taong lang yun na nagsalita ng, ng pambubuli na yun. Kundi yung mga servant na tayo, di ba? Servant tayo. Kaya, importante yung accepting it with all honesty, magpatulong, so that the group will be aware at mapagdadasal din kung talagang merong struggle. Hindi naman kailangan i-broadcast. At least, I mean, your household servant is aware of that, na may struggle ka. Kaya mahalaga po yung one-to-ones. Thank you. So honesty, brothers and sisters. Huwag maging bully. Importante din po yun. Huwag mabuli. Aray! <laughs> <laughs> ano pa na? Yung isang, ta- isang tanong lang. Like, most of us are into a married vocation. Like, ngayon, ikaw, may asawa ka na rin. Married ka na. So, would just like to take your opinion kasi lahat ta- mostly sa atin, mga ano pa yung mga young couples. I mean, you have a lot of experiences with, with titos and titas there na mahahaba na yung mga ano nila, yung wisdom nila when it comes to relationship with being married. Like, if you husband and wife, how would you control your, I mean, kahit sino naman merong, merong mitya pumutok pagdating sa away, di ba? So, sometimes you speak uh, bad things to your spouse na sometimes you it's very hard to take it back. Like, meron kang nasabing hindi maganda na na-realize, oops, parang hirap siyang, hirap siyang ikunin ba? Hirap siyang, pwede ko kayang 
take back. Take back. Kung pwede ko pa kaya siyang ulitin para pag kasabi ko, like, for example, sa amin ni JM, sometimes we have this, I have different tones when I'm saying. Then, sa kanya, parang iba yung pagkakatanggap niya. So, in relation to taming the tongue, how would you, I mean, kung meron ka experience, then it's good. But, based on your experience with with other couples na kaedad natin or mas matanda pa sa atin, how, paano nila ginagawa yung mga ganong bagay? Uh, based on my experience, uh, uh, sa aming mag-asawa, importante po na ano eh, nagkaroon kami ng parameters at napag-uusapan. Katulad ako din, Kuya Daryl, meron din akong high tone. Medyo pagka mataas yung boses ko, akala na mga, kasi ano ko eh, pure Tagalog. So, medyo matigas at uh, ris, taga-risal ako, medyo may yabang yung pagsasalita kasi mga ganun. Pero nilalagyan ng parameters. What I'm trying to say is uh, kapag ka na kapag ka hindi ko na nakokontrol or madalas ganun na yung tone ng pagsasalita ko. Meron kaming una na pagkasunduan namin na meron siyang kailangang banggitin na 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 bagay na pag binanggit niya yun it is a reminder na medyo tumataas na yung boses mo or, or medyo malakas na, hindi na maganda sa pangyay. Example, yung marshmallow. Kapag ka po binabanggit na niya yung marshmallow, mare-remind ako na, ay, tumataas na pala yung, yung boses ko. So, pag narinig ko na yung marshmallow, mare-remind ako na, okay, kailangan ko i-tone down. Kasi yung sa marshmallow na yun, behind that marshmallow, masakit na sa tenga niya, uh, paulit-ulit na lang, or na, nakakapagod ng i-remind ka ulit. So pagka narinig na yung marshmallow or whatever, doon na. Uh, kailangan mag-tone down. So depende yun sa sa pag-uusap nyo, kung ano yung term na yun. Kung para ma-remind kayo sa isa't isa. Natutunan lang din namin yun sa, sa mga titos-titas namin dito sa community. Pangalawa, kapag ka parehas mainit yung sitwasyon, yung dati, uh, parehas kasi kaming strong personality at uh, panganay siya, tapos ako pangalawa sa panganay. At uh, panganay pa rin kasi uh, apat pa rin yung under me ng mga kapatid ko eh. So parang kay may strong personality pa rin. Kapag kaparehas kaming mainit at hindi nagkakasundo, uh, kailangan may magsalita na, na isa na Okay, medyo mainit na yung sitwasyon. Hindi makakatulong kung parehas pa tayo mag, mag sasabayan ng diskusyon. Dati, nagkaroon kami nung, nung hindi pa kami mag-asawa. Ang lagi naming sinasabi sa isa't isa, uh, bawal matulog nang hindi tayo nagkakahiyos. Yung ganun pa kami. Pero as we mature sa aming relationship. Yung, dahil nga ganun yung personality namin parehas, kailangan meron talagang magsasabi na teka lang, parang medyo masakit na yung mga naririnig ko. Kaya kailangan na nating magpahinga, uh, mag-cool down, just to loosen up. Diba? Just to loosen up. Tapos, uh, importante rin in winning back is yung nasasabi ko naman na 
you win yung puso nung ay ba ako ng kasakitan medyo nagkaroon ng uh, matinding discussion ganyan so pagka naman dumating yung opportunity to to reconcile we always start it with the prayer and we end it with the prayer yung I, i'm sure narinig niyo na rin naman po yun yung after namin na magpahinga magpakulgang hindi pwedeng hindi namin pag-uusapan. Kailangan namin siyang pag-usapan. At sa pag-uusap na yun, it is God na at the center of everything. Kaya mas magiging maayos yung pag-uusapan. Hindi importante that you will do it to, to build each other up. Yung meron kaming parehas na airtime, magsasalita ako kung ano yung nararamdaman ko. Then after ko, magsasalita siya kung ano yung nararamdaman niya because of that situation, discussion, na nangyari, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos, andun na yung ano, yung paghingi ng sorry right after that, ma-flesh ma out kung ano yung nangyari. Tapos pagdating naman sa winning back, importante yung love language. So, importante yung love, love language para, kasi lagi naman pong tinuturo na eh, wala ka naman ibang mapupuntahan kapag nag-away kayo eh. I mean, sa kanya at sa kanya ka pa rin uuwi. So, makikita at makikita po pa rin yung, yung mukha ng isa't isa. No matter what. Because that's the, that's the commitment eh. That's the power of being Uh, one in front of God kasi hindi na kayo mapaghihiwalay pa. So, ang pinaka-importante is yung nagkaroon ng patawaran kung may pagkakataon makabawi action in a simple gesture of treating her sa paborito niyo yung restaurant, paborito niyo yung kinakain, or flowers, or whatever, it's a good gesture of saying I love you also. Natutunan lang din po namin yan. Thank you, bro. Yun, thank you. Para sa additional na young couple topics, <laughs> magpa-plug na rin ako. Meron po tayong MFC Young Couples page. Meron po silang teaching every Monday para yeah. sa mga couples po. Yun. Tapos ito lang, dagdag ko lang din yung sa sinabi mo kanina. Yung love that suffer and endures. Maganda yung, magandang reminder yun that all of us are are doing it out of love. So we we should be ready to suffer and, and endure in our relationship. Not only with our spouse, but also whatever God wants us to do and what God is giving us that we are really really ready for everything because we love him and we love our spouse and we love our family so diba so yun baka mag ano tayo dito mag emir tayo dito mamaya <laughs> <laughs> so any, any more any more clarification or questions meron pa pong hahabol may last one question ako bro pero anybody else na gustong humabol po Raise your hand, unmute yourself, or PM. Dain lang natin ng konte. Abol ako. Ah! Oh. May tanong ka, bro Fritz. Bro Fritz. Di bro, kasi yung topic na bullying. What's the parameter? Napa kada lipong sabihin, it's bullying pag na offend ka. Pag hindi ka na offend, it's okay. So how do you how do you reconcile that? Kasi lahat naman tayo minsan mapagbiro, mag-i-enjoy sa company is other and we say things na pabiro. But then other people will take it again bullying kasi kasi hindi nila nagustuhan. But kung nagustuhan nila okay lang. Paano mo ma-reconcile doon? Paano naging bullying 'yun? Hmm. Yun lang po. Yun. So, kapag ka po, dahil nga po sa 
community natin nagiging uh, nagiging part po ng kamustahan at kwentuhan yung asaran. Uh, katulad ko nung sinasabi ko kanina, uh, it's very important na paging aware tayo dun sa isang tao na may pinagdadaanan. So when it comes to reconciling it, yung bullying nowadays it becomes a tawag dito uh, technical term sa mga sa skwelahan kapag uh, sa trabaho na bully ka bullied di ba so technically that's the term po to reconcile it kapag uh, dinala po talaga natin sa court di ba you will become judge of bullying kapag ka uh, sinumbong natin into a higher court. Like our, yung anak natin na binubuli sa, I mean, malalaman lang natin na binubuli siya kapag ka kinuwento sa atin or sinabi sa principal sa, sa uh, tawag dito, sa guidance. Sa guidance, okay? So, Kaya ang importante po sa atin when it comes to reconciling our reconciling that when it comes to our terms in the community. Importante po yung sinabi ko po kanina na i-accept natin that we are we are having these situations in life na sensitive tayo pagdating sa sitwasyon na ganito. So if you are feeling not okay when it comes to that Sinabi ko po kanina na importante magpabantay ka, magpatulong ka into that someone na alam mo uh, matutulungan ka, hindi ka bubulihin. Okay? And if you are that someone na alam mo na ay baka ako po sa experience ko, may, there was a time na sa buhay ko napapagod ako na na lagi akong tawag dito, I felt that ako, kung term ko yung experience ko that very moment, feeling ko na bully ako. Di ba? Feeling ko na bully ako. Yung lagi akong nagiging topic. Kaya pag kami pinagkukumpulan sila, yung ano eh, yung feeling ko ako yung pinag-uusapan. So may, mga, may ganun ako dating feeling that very moment. Ang ginawa ko po, nagpatulong ako sa house of servant ko. I-inexpress ko po yung nararamdaman ko. So every time na kahit hindi ako kasama ng grupo na yun, pero dahil lang doon yung house of servant ko, yung house of servant ko, yun yung tagapagtanggol ko. Tiwala ako na yung house of servant ko, sasabihin niya kung ano yung totoo. Yung poprotektahan niya ako bilang house of So that's the trust that that can build when it comes to to being aware of that. So, tayo-tayo lang din po ang magpapaalalahanan sa isa't isa. So, sabi ko po kanina, hindi porkit nagiging ulam, kanin, na yung asaran sa community, pam, yung asaran nagiging term na bulihan na, hindi pwede na magiging term siya na na norm, I mean, magiging normal na siya. Yung hindi pwede nating tanggapin na na hindi, kasi dahil normal sa community na pagka nagkita-kita, nagkakaroon ng mga ganoon. Di ba? Kasi tayo bilang isang tao, we have the yung may karapatan tayo, we have the right to voice it out. Na kung masakit na kapag kasi na, na sasabihan ka ng ganoon, you can voice it out. Doon sa, kung hindi mo kaya, doon sa group, doon sa taong sa household servant mo, ganyan. So, it is, it, it needs to be corrected. It needs to be corrected. Diba? No matter, no matter what are the ways to reconcile it. Kung very foul, kung below the belt, yung pangaasar, it's really bad. So, hindi po talaga tama. That's why hindi pwedeng 
i-accept natin yung term na hindi, pag may asaran kasi, ay hindi, pag nagkikita-kita may asaran. There is a there is a place for everything. There is a time for everything. Diba? May ganun po rin akong kaibigan. Sa tropa namin, kaming mga full-time missionary, siyempre, kakaasaran din po, ganyan. Pero meron kaming isang kaibigan na pikon. So pagka alam namin na medyo pikon siya, yung alam namin na okay, hindi pwedeng medyo malalim ang mga banatan kasi meron tayong kasama na pikon. Pero pagka wala siya, ganun. At alam namin na yung matitigas na lang yung mukha yung magkakasama. Okay, pero hindi rin po pwede na up to the point na medyo foul na foul. Okay? Hindi po rin pwedeng ganun. So, sana po nakatulong yung opinion ko lamang po. May uh, reaction ako, bro. Sige, bro. Kasi siguro, siguro we grew up in a different times. Uh, I'm much older than most of you here. I grew up na ang bullying is not that not a term yet. So parang normal occurrence yan. No? Uh, ang sinasabi sa akin dati is you fight fire with fire. And once you are under fire, it will foster you a stronger character. So, in real life, nakakasalamuha naman tayo ng ganong problem, eh, hindi lang sa community. When we go out to the community, talaga may nagbubuli, may merong may nag-react o may nag-comment. If we apply a kids glove on every aspect of that are we not developing ourselves into weak rather than being being coming out of it much stronger kasi you know better yourself and whatever criticism or um, teasing against you or towards you dapat hindi mo yan personalin so, I believe in my time, ganun ang nangyayari. We were uh, put in a situation that it was bullying and, uh, uh, with all its definition. Pero, sabi ka nila, bitbitin mo sarili mo. Kaya, uh, uh, what you call this, pangatawan mo or you fight it and bear it. Kasi it will uh, mold you into a better person kung ma-overcome mo. If you treat them as lahat na lang reklamo, lahat na lang ganito, hindi pwede, ganito, hindi pwede, hindi pa weakling ang na, 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 na natin na, na po-produce. And kung magkikritisay siya sa personal, sa personal uh, aspect niya, what more could the kid question your faith niya will he able to stand up to against that so kung namomold siya ng ganung matapang siya then he can fight his faith much more sa personal life niya that's my opinion on it bro paul is still there is still with us nawala yung connection ni Bro Paul. Meron pong additional yung isang sister po natin. Um, I think sometimes it's not what you say, but how you say it. Siguro we should be more sensitive to others' feelings para hindi tayo ma-offend and maka-offend din sa iba. Sis, uh, sa ganyang ano no, talagang may rap. Kasi sometimes kahit malumanay mo sasabihin, it will be taken differently. Sometimes, pasigaw ka, differently naman. So, uh, ang thin line of, of interpretation is sa taong, sa taong nagre-receive. So, regardless, sometimes na napakaganda na ikaw-coach mo na term, and if it takes it 
offensively, it will be offensive kahit hindi siya sumisigaw. Hindi, hindi ka sumisigaw o hindi ka pagalit. So, sa, sa, ang, 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 ang sa akin naman is sometimes the problem is only not to the person na nag-deliver but the person also receiving. receiving. Kasi, kasi baka na, naulahan niya na lang ah, negative to. Ah, criticism to. Ah, ganito yan. Rather than take it as constructive. Mm. Of I course, may, may ano din ang person uttering that word. Of course, may responsibility yan. Yeah, I agree. Actually, bro, Fritz, meron tayong experience niyang dalawa. Um, your honesty was very, ano, parang direct. Uh, alam, uh, sorry po sa ishare ko. Uh, sa, magkasabay tayo sa, sa, ano, sa, sa lift. Kasabay yung ibang community members natin. And then, yung isang, uh, yung isang kasamahan natin sa community, sabi, huy, mag, uh, mag, yung, over overload. Oh, mag-overload kasi nandiyan si Bro Fritz, sabi niya. Tapos inanser mo siya. Ah, uh, you answered that person na, "Huy, grabe ka naman, ano? Uh, masakit 'yan, ha? Marami tayo dito." And the person receiving that, yung nambuli, somehow nag-sorry din siya. So it's about how you receive it and how you say it as well. I don't know if you remember that. <laughs> no, I don't remember. Uh, I I have I've been told several times, several instances already, na wala na sa akin yan. Okay. Because so, it is true. And I'm big. <laughs> pero na-offend ako nun, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ikaw pala yung, yung na-offend. Na <laughs> pero okay lang naman. <laughs> so, Sasa, anything, any reaction? May, may gusto lang ako idagdag doon. Kasi tama si bro Fritz and tama rin yung nag, ano, medyo ano kasi yan eh, may iba eh, ano case to case scenario kasi ako kasi I've been I've been yes. healthy all my life okay so yung pagsabihan ka mataba majuba whatever it it ano your ano it it gives you confidence in the long run parang it hurts True. you when you're True. small when you're little but it makes you ano stronger Kasi the the ano the comments na does not you don't mind it na eh pag tumatanda ka pero it it has pero it has ano it has scars pa rin kasi parang minsan bumabalik pa rin yung ano yung yung mga insecurities mo ba pero at least ngayon parang nandoon ako kuya Fritz eh naalala ko yung JM eh kasi <laughs> kasama ko <laughs> so naalala ko yung, sabi ko Uy, no, bigat pala natin. Kaya <laughs> 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 nandun din ako. Birds of the same flag, weather flag together, ha? So, in that sense, na, 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 nabibuild yung ano ko na parang to not mind. Pero again, ito oh, ay. True. Kasi, di ba? But, yung yung example, nung kapatid nating isa, parang na, nakaka-relate ako kasi may mga friends akong ganon na talagang they're hurt. Na parang, kasi, hindi naman nila gusto. Yung example niya, na, ang tanda mo na, hindi ka pa nag uy, magpakasal ka naman, ganon. Kasi, hindi naman din nila gusto, na sila, sila gusto, gusto rin naman nila mag-asawa. So, may, may pinanghugutan siya. So, in that sense, o oh, may pinagda, yung sinabi ni Bro Paul, na may pinagdadaanan siya. So, in that sense, doon tayo maging mindful kasi yung taong yun may pinagdadaanan talaga. And ang nangyari kasi noon sa friend namin, actually natin, no? <laughs> yung friend natin, JM, na, yes. na ganun, ano siya, every time he sees that person na laging, ano ba, hindi ka bang papakasal? Eh ano din siya, leader din siya sa community. I mean, ano, I mean, may, may position, sabihin na natin ganun. Na, parang naayaw na niya yung tao to the point that she's getting mad na ayun na niya makita, ayun na niya makasalamuha, ganun. So, yun yung ano, siguro yun yung implication. Oo, oh, sometimes it's good, but you know, pero pag yung tao talaga na parang tagos, I think that's the time we have to siguro ang ano, lang, is, ang ano lang dito is since our topic is taming the tongue, is yeah, I agree with you as well that sometimes those experiences build our character as we grow old. 
it help it helps us to gain uh, our footing in the world it it helps us to find our own niche in this in this world that we are living in it builds our character it builds our confidence as well every time you you overcome those those criticism but since we're talking about taming the tongue it's the only re- point there is to to reminded for us to be reminded to be to have to be sensitive enough for those people na nabibigyan natin na minsan ako mahilig ako mag-comment mahilig ako mag magbigay ng side comments with with my peers but for you as a person you should be sensitive enough pag nakita mo na oops parang medyo nasasaktan na siya then it's that's why that's why kanina it's yung yung speech is is our opportunity to build up the person the person so for us yeah it's correct that it builds our character but on the other side hindi tayo lahat ginawa pare-pareho some will will receive it differently some of it will receive it also negatively some of it will take it as a challenge yeah. for them to 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 rise up to those comments but for us to be reminded to be uh em- to have empathy tama ba to have empathy and sensitive to to the words that we are saying that's the only that's the that's the teaching that we have for today and for for the for the for the bullying itself it's it's have its pros and cons to each one another it either make or break you when you experience that because for me also i experienced those 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 types of bullying not that time correct bro preach it's not bullying in our term those times when when we bro darel di ka pa si kuenta i mean i mean i explain that because gayon lang din lumabas yung term na bullying niyan maybe to oh yeah true 2000 true. year 2010 maybe 2010 doon lang siya lumabas pero those people aging from going pushing 40 those words are not there those bullying is not there True. So it it we have different perspective for the person having the, the mainstream word than those person na hindi sila sanay na naririnig yun. It for us when we see bullying, it builds us. It's yeah. challenge us. It's it's motivate us to to do something better out of ourselves, not to 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 this to to destroy us, but instead to build us up with those criticism but at this point in time this millennial people with this point of millennial society they have different connotations of what is bullying so that's why i understand when you say that we are are we creating weak weaklings, weaklings? because yun yung nakikita natin but on the other side of us hindi natin nakikita yun as negative that's why I said it, we have different person re- receiving those critics, those criticism. But on the other side, is that the teaching is, as I said, it teaches us to be sensitive enough and to be to have empathy to those people. Na kung tayo mahilig tayo ganon kinangan, meron tayong ano na tayo alam natin kung masasaktan ba natin or hindi. Like, pag nagbiruan kami ni Nasasa, ni Randy kami ni JM at with our friends, alam namin kung paano namin ihinto yung biruan. Alam namin kung paano ihinto yung kasi pag dinerecho pa namin, mag-aaway kami. You know, you, gets mo gets niyo kung anong ibig ko sabihin. So we should learn our limitations when giving those those comments. And in the relation to giving the tang, we should apply those uh, sensitive and to have empathy with our brethren. For for that person na nagtanong nung question na yun, uh, going back to that part yung about matanda ka na and all, I think let's start with what uh, Bro Paul said na uh, tanggapin muna natin with all honesty sa puso natin and once we have the courage to actually say na, oy bro, wag na muna, medyo masakit na yan. Pwede ganun na sabihin mo dun sa taong yun if we bro preach yeah. wag muna na hurt na ako mga ganyan 
Diba? Ah, gusto ko lang. I know that nag, we, tayo dito sa Dubai, we are very small, we are close-knit, at alam po natin yung tayo, bawat, yeah. o bawat isa, and somehow may na-build na tayong relationship. And so, somehow, kapag meron ka ng courage to say that, sabihin na, bro, Fritz, tama na po na. <laughs> Hurt na po. Yeah. Diretsuhin nyo lang ako. Sabi nyo, oh, taba. Taba na yan. <laughs> Oy, wag na ako, I, will, I will shut ano up my ako? mouth. Okay. Kasi, ano, nung narinig ko yung question, I felt guilty din. Kasi baka ako din yun. Kasi alam nyo naman ako. Napaka, ano ka din. Diba, Bully. minsan? Diba? Bully ka talaga. <laughs> Bully, ka talaga. <laughs> Bully ka talaga. <laughs> Kaya medyo ako nag- lagi binubuli. Kaya medyo <laughs> nag-guilty naman ako. Na kung ako yun, na part ako doon. Pero, Um, ano ba tong memo la tuloy sa sabihin ko? Ah, uh, so on my on my ano naman, personal for my ano naman, for, for myself lang ha. Ah, uh, ganoon lang ako, palabiro, ma ma ma, ma joke. Pero I hope I hope na pag tayo alam mo, tayo lang magkasama or walang ibang tao. You feel na naparamdam ko naman sa inyo na Mas, yun, alam mo yun, yung sincerity, yung love. Siguro, ano, uh, katulad nga nung sabi ni Brokol, na yung, yung, ano, joke-joke ka na yan is, ano, uh, yung part ng, yung pang-aasar is part ng kamustahan. Pero hanggang dun lang yun. The more, more of, um, uh, the more, more of, ano, na, mas lamang dapat yung ramdam na pagmamahal. Siguro, kaya siya nag-question ng ganun is baka, mas ramdam niya na yung sakit nung nung pang-aasar sa kanya kaysa yung sa, pagmamahal, yung concern nung mga taong nasa paligid niya. Siguro kaya yun yung naging question niya. So, personally, so, sana, ganun nga na sa dami nung na, naging joke ko, mas madami naman yung naging magagandang nasabi ko. <laughs> yun lang. <laughs> so, may, meron tayo isang ano dito, meron isang kapatid na gano'n nagbigay ng reaction. Sabi niya, pakiramdam lang po yan. If, if feels nyo po na inis na yung tao, stop na po. Yan. Yeah. <laughs> ko lang po. Yan. Yeah. John. Hi, John. So, it's a really... I'm still not just then. <laughs> it's a really <laughs> good discussion. Ang reaction ko doon sa kay Sister Maris, alam nyo naman ako, diretso rin magsabi, wala rin kabing ng bibig. No. But, In all honesty, because you are all my brothers and sisters, so ako, kampante, magsalita, magsabi ko anong nararamdaman ko. With no malice, without any ano na, ill will or anything. Pagpanget ka talaga, sis, or bro, pagpanget ka talaga. Yun lang masasabi. So I'm, re- I'm willing to receive also. Kung sasabihin mo sa akin, taba ka, Fritz. Okay lang yan. O kain na lang tayo ulit. <laughs> So, ano po, uh, this is a very good, lively discussion. So, ano po, by, insert ko lang din by next week, we will have this uh, continued. So, tama po yung, di ba ngayon is taming the tongue. By the next time, we'll know what is correction. So, by next week, we will understand how our posture Pwede natin i-continue yung tanong na to by next week. How can, what is our posture if we have this kind of experiences? Because our, our topic for next week is correction. So, same time, I will just post on our page kung sino yung speaker para ano tayo. So, hopefully, kanina we reach ilan? 39. 39. So hopefully maganda na madami tayo. Hopefully other people also, other other brethren will join us. Uh, let's grab this opportunity to have this online discussion and this kind of discussion as well na even though we are ilang kilometer 50 70 kilometers apart with each other aside from the Philippines around 1000 of kilometers, we still have this lively discussion with one another na we have we still have that kamustahan or how are you even like this we have a good laugh with our discussion it's it's helped us to build us one NFC Dubai 
kung ano meron tayo. So it's really helped us a lot having this kind of conversation. And hopefully we will invite as well other brethren to, to join us in this online teaching that we have. So brothers and sisters, uh, nawala na po si Brother Paul. Yeah. Naputol po yung connection niya. And it's time for him to eat and take his medicine. Yes. So hindi na po siya nakapag-bye-bye. Pero just say hi sa kanya. Thank you, Bro Paul, yeah. for for gracing this talk today. Yes, Napakaganda amen. po. So, May replay naman para makita niya. So also, let, let's include him in our prayers the same time that we did for him when he was in the hospital. Because as you can see, he's really a little bit struggling in giving the talk. And as he said, he's still on the road of recovery. So let us include him in our prayer as well para mas makapag-mission pa siya at pang makapagbigay pa siya ng magagandang salita nang gagaling sa Diyos. So, shall we end? Or ayan niyo pa mag-end? Mag-closing prayer. Mag-closing prayer na tayo, ano? My, um, brothers and sisters, alam ko po na sunod-sunod na every Friday meron po tayong teaching. Pero I do hope po na hindi po pa rin natin namimiss yung mga yeah, online uh, households natin. Online households natin. So be in mind that we are just reinforcing what we've missed in our schedule with our pastoral teaching. What most importantly is that we should continue our household. We should not forget our household. So to all the sections, to all the servants, kindly please do your respective households like like what we have now. And nakikita po namin yung mga posts ninyo. Maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga naka-household. And we need to encourage everybody to attend our households and teachings. Yeah. So. So closing na tayo? Oo. Mag for four hours na yung recording. Yeah, for four hours. <laughs> so closing prayer po tayo. Pero wag po muna kayong umalis. After ng closing prayer, picture, picture, picture tayo. Okay. The favorite part. Picture, picture. Okay. So we are still in the presence of our God, the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, we thank you once again for this wonderful day that you have given us. Indeed, Lord God, you have reminded us of, of the mercy and love that you have given to each one of us. Uh, you have teaches uh, you have teach us and reminded us how to tame our tongue. Uh, when the moment that we are uncertain of the words or the speech that will be coming into our mouth, we thank you, Lord God, for reminding us to be kind, loving, and have the humility, O oh God, to speak uh, in a brotherly and sisterly manner sa mga kapatid namin. Lord, we thank you for Brother Paul for uh, allowing him to, to speak to us, to, to inspire us by your words. And we thank you, O oh God, for his recovery that you have given him, for the road of recovery that you have given him, O oh God. We thank you for allowing your servant to serve you once again in your vineyard, Panginoon. Lord, uh, we entrust to you uh, yung healing ni Bro Paul, yung continuous recovery niya, yung continuous recovery and healing ni Bro Sherwin, uh, yung protection ni... This is IBO God in this time of pandemic na critical po yung situation na Panginoon. We entrust you, O God, to envelop her, to cover her, O God, with your mantle of protection na hindi po siya magkaroon ng any complications with her health, Panginoon. And also, Lord God, we entrust to you our job. Uh, marami po sa amin na apektuhan yung mga trabaho namin, na walan po kami ng mga trabaho, na forced leave po kami, nabawasan po kami, Panginoon, ng mga sweldo namin. Uh, na pangtulong sa pamilya namin. Lord, we, we put these worries and and fear, O oh God, at the foot of your cross. May you hear our plea, O oh God, in this time of pandemic. Uh, tulungan niyo po kami, Panginoon, na walang pasanto. Uh, give us the courage, the wisdom, and faith in you, O oh God, to, to surpass these challenges that we have right now. Lord, once again, we entrust to you our brethren na naapektuhan ng COVID-19. Uh, Lord, may you protect them, uh, allow them not to to complicate yung mga sakit, yung mga katawan nila, oh God, whatever sickness that they have. 
na meron silang nararamdaman ngayon, Panginoon, may you uh, guard them, protect them, and shield them, O God, from any complications na maglalala, O God, na kanilang nararamdaman ngayon. Lord, we entrust you once again, the frontliners na na binigay niyo po sa amin from the doctors up to the garbage collectors that you have, O God, in this place and in the rest of the world, Panginoon, to, to protect them and shield them, O God, na hindi po sila maapektuhan ng COVID-19, Panginoon. Lord, also we 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 pray to you the the leadership of this country, this uh, UAE, O oh God, uh, to to allow us uh, na maging safe po dito sa lugar nito, Panginoon. Uh, Ganyan din po sa Pilipinas na mayroong continued uh, uh, extended quarantine, O oh God, sa Pilipinas. May you allow our uh, uh, kabayans, O oh God, to follow this, O oh God, in order for us na to have fear in our hearts, O God, na lalala pa yung sitwasyon sa Pilipinas, Panginoon. Lord, we entrust to your aging parents, O God, in the Philippines na ilayo niyo po sila sa pandemic na to, Panginoon. Uh, envelope them from their hands, from their eyes, nose, and mouth, O God, not to be touched by the viruses, O God. Kasama po ng mga siblings namin, Panginoon, na naiwan namin sa Pilipinas. Kami po dito, O God, tinataas po namin sa inyo yung kalusugan namin. Uh, balutin niyo po kami ng balal mong dugo, O God, with your Holy Spirit and the thousands of your angels to protect us in this place, Panginoon. Once again, we thank you, O God, for this wonderful blessing that you have given us, this technology that we you connected once again, O God, in spite of this pandemic, Panginoon. This we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, as we pray. O glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. So, unmute everybody. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Open na po tayo ng ating mga camera. Para mag-sister. May mga umalis na sa atin. Nagaganda. Ready na kami sa picture. Ready na kami. Habol, habol. Thank you. Reminders pala sa lahat sa mga kids. Uh, reminder pala sa lahat sa mga kids. Tomorrow you will have your LBS with your titas and titas. Titos and titas. In the Philippines. So you will have LBS at 6pm. 6pm. 6pm UAE time. 6pm. 6pm. 
hindi po kami sure. Tingnan po natin yung ano. 6 p.m. my love. 2 p.m. 2 p.m. nga. 6 p.m. ng Pilipinas. 2 p.m.? 2 p.m. UAE time. 2 p.m. UAE time. Oh, may HH daw si Win. So, 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 okay. So, kids, uh, be ready with your Bible and with your notebooks for tomorrow's uh, activity with titos and titas. And heart champs. And heart champs. You can join them. Yeah, heart champ. Hopefully, you can join. And same goes as well. They have uh, living the word teaching, actually. That's the, how they call it. Living the word. You, that's the teaching that they have. So let us grab this opportunity since the kids after school, uh, after tomorrow, we don't, they don't have school by tom tomorrow so they can join. So hopefully po, makadyo. Have school. Have two school. Have what? Two. <laughs> yes, Sam. What, Sam? Yes, Sam. What, Sam? <laughs> what are you saying, Sam? Wala, wala. Wala, wala. Okay. So, unmute po tayo ulit. Anybody else who wants to say something? Salamat po sa lahat. Unmute. Hey. Hey. No school. Bye. 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 Kada ko malayong Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.